In this video, we'll learn to use metric measures of capacity, milliliters and liters. So, as we said before, metric measures are different from the other measures like imperial, an example of which is ounces. As you can see, milliliters and liters, they have the word liter in there, liter, which sounds like meter as well. So that's where the metric comes from. Milliliter. So that's the short form. M stands for milli and L stands for liter. We measure in milliliters medicine. So or very small amounts. Maybe oil you're going to put when you cook. How much oil you're going to put. So milliliters. I'll show you a milliliter. So here is how much a milliliter is. So there we have one, two, three, four, five milliliters. So you administer medicine with this. And that is how much a milliliter. So it's a really small amount, a milliliter. So I'll empty that one milliliter now into a teaspoon and you can see how much it actually fills and I'll add another one so that is two and the spoon is nearly filled because you actually need two and a half milliliters to fill a teaspoon so I've added just another half so that gives you two and a half so that has been giving children medicine or taking medicine yourself so that should help us remember how much is a milliliter so medicine 2.5 ml is one teaspoon whereas a tablespoon like this will be filled with about five milliliters so let's try that out i will fill this with five mil so i've got five mil in the syringe and I'll empty that so it's roughly about five mil. So I'll add that as well. So five mil makes a tablespoon. And now moving on to liters liters are much bigger than milliliters and we've got liter bottles as well this is a two liter bottle and it's filled halfway through so this is half full and that makes one liter so That helps us remember as well. So water bottle is about a litre. And I will try and write some clues to help us remember now how many in, we, in each of them. So milliliter, that is a very small amount milliliter not milliliter so i'll change that to milliliter there are a thousand milliliters in one liter so a thousand milliliters makes one liter 
so that's what you've got to remember and since milliliters are very small amounts you need a thousand of them to make a liter so if you tried to fill with the syringe with this amount trying to fill lots of this into a one liter bottle you'd need a thousand of them so a milliliter is much smaller than a liter and these clues about medicine mill medicine being in small amounts will help you remember how much there is in a milliliter and liter we've got water bottles or coke or whatever you drink or orange juice so liter bottles have a look at them and try and use those to estimate other the capacity of other objects or other containers and how do we actually measure the capacity and that is through measuring jugs so they've got marks on them uh, like the bottle and shows how much there is in each and one every, um, in each of them uh, or like I showed you with this syringe we've got um, milliliters of medicine or water in it